No, you're not going crazy. If the thumbnail and the title of this video struck you as familiar, that's because this is one of the videos I posted during my, uh, when we hit 200,000 subscribers, I said I was gonna put a bunch of videos on that same week, and I did. Uh, and a couple of them were just 24 hour videos. They're only av uh, available for just 24 hours. However, out of all the videos I posted that week, the one that got the most responses, seemed to get the most glowing comments, was this video. And it was only up for 24 hours. So a bunch of you have been in touch saying, hey, can you please put that up permanently so we can look at it and watch it again and again? Because it's kind of one of those ones designed to make you think. Uh, so for all of you uh, who have expressed interest in seeing this again, thank you so much. And here it is, a few thoughts about creating your own magic. If there was only one idea or principle I could share with you, it would be this one. Any effect is possible. Think that, believe that, and you are well on your way to creating an endless parade of your own magic effects. Any effect is possible. Any. Float a building. Cause someone to speak in tongues. Change a quarter into a hippopotamus. Methods are relatively easy to come by. It's thinking up the effect that takes true daring and courage. Now, of course, it's easy for me to say any effect is possible, but allow me to let you in on a little secret, a reminder, really, when it comes to creating magic. The effect does not really have to happen. It only has to seem to happen. So you don't have to actually float a building. You only have to seem to. By keeping in mind the seeming to, you will forever remain aware of the all-important fact that effects are experienced by people. They do not happen in isolation. Our job is to give people the ingredients, the indications of a magic effect, and then let their imaginations do the rest. Believing, understanding that any effect is possible is one of the true keys to unlocking your magic imagination. Creativity is a kind of perspective. To view the events and the objects in the world around you as clay for your magic imagination is to see the world in a different way than a painter or a sculptor might. Whenever I want to spend a few moments creating magic, I always make a point of first, quote unquote, putting on my magic glasses. For years, this was a conscious effort. Now it pretty much happens automatically whenever my mind isn't focused on something else. When I put on my magic glasses, I immediately see events and objects in magic terms. I see them as appearances, illusions, vanishes, each with a hidden magic potential. I think, how could I cause such and such an event to happen, but not via the usual means? Or, what could I do with that ping pong ball or candy bar that would be seen as magical? Ask yourself what to you is the essence of magic, and then practice applying those ideas to the world around you. Do that, and you are well on your way to developing your own pair of magic glasses. Imagine yourself standing on a beach at the base of a large palm tree. Now imagine taking a step backwards, away from the tree. Now another backward step, and another, and another, and another, until you find yourself ankle deep in the ocean, some 50 feet from the base of the tree. You have just created a marvelous mystery, literally by working backwards. If someone walking along the beach were to come across the path of your footprints and follow them to the base of the tree, they would be very surprised to see no one up in the tree. I love to create magic in much the same way. I begin by imagining the last magic moment of the effect and then slowly figure out the steps I need to take to get me there. The power of this approach lies in the fact that it is completely opposite to the spectator's experience of the effect. Working backwards also takes the final magic moment as the given as the thing not to be changed or compromised and tries to juggle all other variables around it. Working backwards is a very dependable way to create many marvelously effective mysteries. Here is another one of my favorite ways to generate magic ideas. While driving in the car, walking down the street, or taking a shower, I imagine creating effects that are in some way like other vital objects in the world. For example, imagine a card effect that is somehow like a fire hydrant or a coin routine that is somehow like a balloon. A fire hydrant is water under great pressure waiting to come out. So maybe you could ask the spectator to shake the card case for a few moments and then when they open the flap, all the cards shoot out like a can of soda. A balloon is filled with air and is tied to a string. 
So, maybe you could tie a piece of string to a coin and then switch it for an identical looking piece of wire. And as you raise one end of the wire, it will look like the coin is floating in midair. There is no limit to the exciting magic you can create when you look to the world around you for inspiration. We tend to think of artists as different than ordinary people. They are not different. They are just like you and me. They sleep, they eat, watch TV, fight with their friends, get overtired, eat fast food. They are just like you and me. They are not more intelligent, they are not more talented, and they are not more creative. But the one thing they do that many people don't is spend time on a regular basis exploring their creativity and playing with ways of expressing themselves. So forget the whole art and artist thing. Those labels are mostly about ego and actually giving away power. Don't sit down with a pack of cards or spend time on stage with your zigzag illusion and try to quote unquote make art. Instead, just explore, play, fiddle, consider, imagine. And be sure to keep notes. Do that, just that. And before you know it, your magic will become a true expression of the most important magician you will ever know. You. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much, everybody, for getting back to me and letting me know, sending emails and DMs on Twitter and stuff, asking to see this video again. Uh, it's great having fans, uh, a whole bunch of different kinds of fans. Some of you I know are just into the tricks, but I know a bunch of you also are interested in going to that next level, really thinking about your magic, creating and working on your scripting. So for all that kind of thing, that next level stuff, definitely check out my Inside Deception website. Uh, it's a very innovative site, and there's a whole bunch of exclusive videos there that you can't find anywhere else in the world. So check it out, uh, hit the like button if you grooved it, and of course, subscribe. Thanks so much, see you soon.